What? You are in jail? If you said an Amazon FBA, then today is a great video because today I'm going to tell you how my student's Amazon FBA got suspended and what he has done to get it back so far and fail. Also, how he she unethically stole her husband's Amazon FBA account so that she could start selling again and the measures that she took to make sure that Amazon does not think that she is the same person from the suspended account. So that account won't be shut down. Please watch this video till the end as I will reveal that Amazon does make mistakes also. So let's go and investigate. I am Sanya here and this is my channel where I make the Amazon business very simple to understand. So if you want to open a new seller account, find a profitable 10k product or rank it on Amazon then this is the right place for you. Guys, I honestly wish I, there would be an office to go to make a schedule appointment. You take your laptop and sit with these people banning our Amazon accounts and clear things out because these super crazy methods to try to make things work are insane. Especially if you depend on this to make a living. Having a backup account is a must. Appeals process is brutal and you may or may not get the account back. Do a little research on Stealth account because Amazon's AI for finding multiple accounts and leaking them is very sophisticated. They can link those accounts in more ways than you think. We all know that Amazon monitors your IP addresses. It's already illegal that you have your VA who has her own Amazon store being in your store also. It is very much against terms of service to have two people in the same household to more than one Amazon FBA account. The compliance department monitors all of the IP addresses activities. You will more than likely to get this shut down. I would highly recommend you read the policies instead of guessing. Amazon has a great learning module for new sellers. I will put the link in the description down below and you can go and check that link. But after the video. On May 15, as I was busy in my daily schedule, I got a call from one of my students. She told me that I am in jail for stealing my husband's account to sell on Amazon FBA. When she said that, I could not even believe that. My eyes were wide open in shock and my hands were sweaty. In my entire Amazon business, I did not hear anyone going to jail for this thing. Yes, I know stealing is bad, but this was not that type of stealing. I grabbed my lost consciousness and strengthened and my voice to ask her about the details. After calming my emotion, I asked her what happened and what she told me was a little bit relaxing and I felt like release of energy in my body. She told me that her account is in Amazon's jail. After that, I was a little relaxed but I could not show her because it was bad after all. I asked her what made you use your husband's account when you had yours. I just want her to tell me the exact situation that she, that, so that I can help her and to understand about the situation. She started selling on Amazon like three months ago and everything was good, going good, everything. But after like 20 days selling, she received an email from Amazon that your Amazon account is suspended due to that. Your account is associated with an account that is not allowed to sell on Amazon. What? She didn't know what to do and she appealed many times but no response from Amazon. But she knew that maybe it's due to her IP address that is being used by another seller or this IP address is blacklisted on Amazon database. Eager to sell on Amazon, she started searching to buy an Amazon account but then she remembered that her husband account got one seller account, the husband got one seller account that he made five years ago. She asked her husband for that and he agreed. Guys, if you want to know why your Amazon ac account suspended right after registration, then watch this video here. I, in this video, I'm going to show you all the reasons that you can get a new seller account suspended. So do check out this video after finishing this video and I will link it in the description down below. The mistake she made was that she used VPN in order to dodge Amazon. Guys, Amazon is a billion dollar company. They will detect when you are using a VPN IP. So you just got a sit and wait. Pretty sure they will flag it. And that's exactly what happened with her old trusty husband's account. 
she bought a new laptop and after two days of opening she got an email that her account is being suspended permanently now she's in amazon jail no matter what account she will make it will suspend it and she won't be able to make any more accounts as her ip address is being blacklisted by amazon she said she had no idea what that meant her husband never sold a single item on amazon in his entire life he has only like ever bought one item and that was like five years ago and that transaction was perfect she appealed the case and the same way as before but they never even responded Guys, uh, one thing to watch out for, like sometimes the IP that VPNs give you are existing IPs from a pool of their, like the people they bought. This means that the IP might show up as something Amazon might flag at some point. For example, if I were to have used the same VPN at some point and then gave it to that IP could be assigned to you. If by chance I had been using my computer to access Amazon at any point, they will like associate that with the Amazon account. So you will get suspended. Here is another thing that, but it's not recommended for beginners. If you create a company in Wyoming, which is very cheap, then you set up a new bank account and Amazon account associated with this like LLC over there. It can be easily managed reportedly. However, before you register with the new LLC at Amazon, first get a free Azure account and create a virtual server which runs Windows. From there, you will remote it from any computer you need to do all your Amazon stuff. When you set up the free Azure account, you want to get a static IP. This will allow you to always log into your Amazon server account from anywhere without worrying that it might flag two accounts from the same IP. This also helps if you need to log in while um, you are on a lunch break or from another company, etc. But still, guys, this is an advanced setup and I don't want you to do it right now as when you are just starting out. For beginners, I recommend that you follow Amazon rules and regulations at any cost. If your Amazon account is suspended and it is due to IP addresses, then you can deactivate all your accounts. Buy a new device and with a new IP address makes a new Amazon account on Amazon. If you want to avoid FBI issues, then please read over the terms and conditions which no one really reads over because Amazon bots never make mistakes mostly. I have avoided many issues with Amazon by just carefully reading the boring terms and conditions. I have friends uh, that reinstated their account after Amazon wrongly flagged their accounts. Yes, they do make mistakes, guys. <sighs> After uh, showing proof of Amazon about the transaction, they open it and send a pardon email. People um, jump to this without knowing what can really get you banned. Many courses and YouTube videos out there don't point, point out this thing. So guys, please watch this video really, really careful as don't let Amazon shut you down by mistake or deliberately. I also agree with the account wars on getting someone shut down because 90% of Amazon is automated and then the one person to reverse it takes like three months by a human. That's why I always send emails to Amazon wherever I am selling my all the activities. Hey, I'm linking my account to this. Hey, I'm making ads here. Hey, I'm transferring more than 1k out of the account to my bank, etc. So they don't flag me because I am transparent with them and they know all my activities. You can make any other person have permission to log into your account in case it get banned. So Amazon can still message Amazon, like you can still message Amazon from that account where you get the permission off. Guys, I wish you nothing but the best in your Amazon business ventures. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe to my channel as it means a lot to me more than you can imagine. Also, don't forget to watch my latest video here. So let's go and watch it right now.